Welcome back to Discord Elysium. Oh, we're back already? Cool. Yeah? Cool. Alright, actually, now that I'm here... Do, 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 do. Boop, boop, boop. Map. Alright, so we need to get to... Let's go to the church. That'll be the closest one. Yay! So here, here's the other question. Should we put on the boots and talk to Kim? And see what he says? I do not see the pigs around. The pigs are gone, which means that hat is gone. Uh -oh. I could have sworn we got it. Either that or I was reading about it when, like, a little while ago when we were talking about something else, and I was like, oh, this is gotten from the pigs, and... Be. Hmm. I will say, if we get all four pieces of armor, we should wear them. We've only... We only need one. The helmet's the only one that's missing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Do you know where the helmet is? Uh, Kuno said he punted it into the ocean, so I'm assuming it's gonna wash up on the, uh... Ooh, thanks. I don't take that. Um, I'm assuming what's going to happen is it'll wash up on that island that we need to check out eventually at some okay. point. Okay. Whenever we get there. At least that's my guess, anyway. A few locusts trudge along the wall of the trap. The rest are piled in a heap in the corner, dead. No phasmid anywhere. Poor things. All right. Well, let's check. Let's let's check the traps, and then I guess we'll start questioning everyone on where the fuck Ruby's at. Yeah. The trap is filled with dead and dying locusts. Most of them aren't moving anymore. You still. Can't see a phasmid anywhere. Poor things. Okay. Oh, um, I did see, and yes, it is on the island, which is the end of the game, which is like the end of the game. So we cannot. So let's put on all three pieces that we have. And then talk to Kim, or just for shits and giggles? Just for shits and giggles, let's just put on all three parts of the armor. <laughs> and be all, like, decked out. Cool. And we're wearing the armor underneath our clothing, so... Yes! Look at that armor. And uh, there, there's no. <laughs> just walk around with just a, just our underwear hanging out. Oh yeah. How about those modular track pants? <laughs> there we go. Yes. Look at us. How's that? Does that look awesome. sexy? Um, um. Kim, how do we Kim. look? Yeah, Kim. What do you think of this? <laughs> oh no. Uh, <laughs> aren't we going to talk about the boots I'm wearing? Okay, let's talk about it. You stole the boots. He looks at the gleaming technolo technological footwear you're sporting. Congratulations. That must have taken an enormous concerted effort. Considerable ingenuity and timing. Now, I'm going to report you and you're going to go to jail. <laughs> You're joking. All I ask is the chance to close this final case, so I can go to the shares with a clean conscience. Let's hurry. I'm living on borrowed time. That is completely different than what he says here. E ah. Eh. Ha! Uh, glitch? It must be a non-updated dialogue? All right. Anyway, let's put our shit back on. Uh, my 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 not that one. Uh, can 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 we keep the boots on though? I'm not getting rid of them yet. 
Yeah. I just wanted to put the jacket back on for. Actually, we don't need to because we don't have the art degree anymore. Sadly. Oh. Okay. This makes me sad. Because now we got rid of it for nothing. Oh well. At least we still have the other boost of XP. We can continue the church quest, actually. Okay, before, and... Before the ruby stuff. Okay, okay. I think that's really the only thing we got left right now, aside from, like, main quest stuff. Because I would think she would be... in that one building that we can't get yes. to. What is it? That's what I'm guessing. Uh, about the off-site copy you asked me to bring. Yes? I brought you the filament. Thanks. Looks like it's the one. What's going to happen now? Now, I'm going to print it out to see what's left of it. She's already inserting the filament into the radio computer's core, ready to close the door. Wait. No. That's dangerous. She should Wait. do it. Wait, don't put it in yet. It might be dangerous. <laughs> no. It's not dangerous. Just depressing. How do you know? I have a theory. Lintel was able to divine the anomaly's location from this broken copy. I want to repeat their calculation, only this time with better equipment. Watch. What an intricate display of failure. <laughs> The paper starts filling out with ink, soaking it in a gleaming blackness. Not a single line of data stands out. This is wrong. Machines shouldn't behave like that. It's the abyss staring back at you. Hmm, now what? Sona doesn't reply, her hands running over the printout. She's looking for something. For her morning star, eyes scouring the millimeters. Here, I found it. Where? Hold on. She's behind the keyboard now, typing in some numbers that only she understands. The terminal beeps and the lights inside start pulsing like a glowing heart. Uh, can I do anything? Shh. Just give me a second, I'm almost... She clocks up her typing speed. I've never witnessed a program at work before. Done. I've got it. I found the location of the anomaly. There's oh joy my God. in her voice. She bumps she bumps her fist into the air. Oh my god, congratulations! Thank you. She yells back with a grin. So where is it? Where is your two millimeter hole in the world? There. In the swallow. She points to the other end of the church, where a group of water bowls form a ritualistic arch. Think you can help me again? She tilts her head, eyes sparkling. Uh, sure. I need you to go move those water bowls for me. I need to double check my calculations. You like moving things around. Moving things around is calming. Just walk over to the circle and follow my instructions. Move the third bowl two centimeters to the left, and the fourth bowl five centimeters to the right. This should do the trick. Should I screen capture this? Just <laughs> I mean, if you can't remember those things, then maybe. Okay, I did it just to be on the safe side. <laughs> uh, sure, no problem. <laughs> the delay. Thanks. Right. Hey, hey, I was going into a image file, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay, I don't know what one is three and four here. Although it highlights every single one. It's awfully silent again, as if someone turned off the entire world outside those walls. Water inside the bowls stands still. Measurements have been marked down around the bowls. Each chalk-drawn line representing a centimeter on the floor. Oh boy, this is going to be good. 
Oh. It gives it to you. Oh, okay. Move the third bolt from the left two centimeters away. It moves like a ghost without creating a single trace of sound. Move the fourth bolt from the left five centimeters to the right. Some water spills out of the bowl, wetting the floor. The lead programmer sends you an encouraging thumbs up from across the hall. Time to run back, or maybe walk. This is a sacred place, after all. Leave. Is there a walking option? What is it? There is. Ah. I just refuse to walk. I want to run. Okay, okay. I I was just wondering. I'm making Kim um, exercise. He, he <laughs> look. He'll be he'll be a fucking. He'll have some great ass cardio once we're done with this. We'll be able to run for miles. Hey, my legs want to die. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Come on, Kim, you oh. can run a marathon now, though. I, I moved the water bowls in the right position, just like you asked. What's next? Craig, everything should be aligned now. She stops, biting into her chapped lip. Miss Know-It-All is hesitating. What's wrong? Yeah, uh, nothing. Now the only thing left to do is to unmute the headphones. If we got the location right, we should then be able to hear whatever sound this anomaly makes. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Will the sound the anomaly makes be the sound Egghead is looking for? It could be. You want to know what else it could be? It could the be... The Phasmid! <laughs> it could be a cryptid. I don't know if it's the Phasmid specifically, but it could be a cryptid. Okay, uh, what was, what we was the one? The Kolnamanwo Dakwa? The weird one that sounds like birds or whatever? Uh-huh. Uh, you know what it also could be? What? Harry's missing voice. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, okay. Uh. Wait, why do you have to have your headphones on mute in the first place? Honestly? Honestly, I'm a little scared. Isn't it just going to be silence and nothing else? I don't know. That's what I'm scared of. I don't know. It could be anything. I mean, what sound does the nothing make? How can you even listen to something that doesn't exist? She turns what to is the sound of one hand clapping? <laughs> uh, she turns to face you, the mainframe throwing shadows on her chin. What if... Silence is only what surrounds it, but the swallow itself is... She grows silent, her face very pale in the cold light of the electricity. You're overthinking this. Maybe. Maybe I'm just tired. It's scary, but we just have to face it. Yeah, you're right. Let's do it. She puts on her oversized headphones, ready to press unmute on the keyboard. The lieutenant takes a step back, and then nothing. Nothing happens as Sona Logan and Kilda presses unmute on her keyboard. Nothing but silence. You can hear some small animal cross the floor in the chancel. It's that quiet in the sanctuary. Say nothing. She doesn't talk. Her eyes closed and brows knitted together in a state of deep focus, one hand cupping the headphone. Well? Damn it. She lets out a loud sigh before tearing off the headphones. She's still avoiding your gaze. It sounds like hedonic dance music, doesn't <laughs> it? Um, <laughs> well, come on. Did you hear anything? No, of course not. Nothing happened. Let's move on. Despite her fear, she was hoping for something extraordinary to take place. What do you mean, nothing happened? Did you find the swallow? No. She rests her face on her hands, massaging her forehead. No. My hypothesis was wrong. According to this, I should have heard something, if I got the coordinates right. Like I said, silence is only what surrounds it. 
But this... This is just another failure. Silence sounds like silence. That's all it is. You can try on the headphones. See if you can hear anything. But don't get your hopes up. Silence is silence? You're sure there's more to it? Ooh, hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Helping Egg with it, it's literally all about Egghead! It is something for Egghead! Hold on, hold on. I know we, I know we have, we gotta replace the boots. I know you want to keep these on, but we gotta replace them. All right. Yes, yes, yes. That's an extra one perception. Uh, there's at least one more perception item. Uh, plus one perception. This isn't showing us perception. That's weird. Let me. Let and, me... and 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 we also have a upgrade point. That we could boost perception if we want. That is. Oh, like the other one was the hat. Yes. What is it? Ninety-two, 92! right now. And it's a white check, so we're, we can get a good Put on those headphones. Everything disappears. You are draped in silence, like a drowning man staring into his puny little headspace. That's no different than any other day. And then the pressure changes. What does that mean? It feels like flying on an aerostatic, or when your ears pop, or like a subtle difference in the atmosphere, a weather change hanging in the air. What if the sound you're looking for is too low for you to hear it? Sooner, what? What? <clears throat> This may sound crazy, but what if we just need a better sound system? I have these really shitty speakers we could use. They were used to hold up a pair of fallen sneakers. A better sound system? Alright, but where would we get one? <gasps> Suddenly, a rhythmic beat permeates the wall, uh, causing a small patch of decorative stucco to crumble onto the wooden floor. They should really allocate some renovation funds for this place. The, the one mono speaker system. Yes! Murmurs Lieutenant, inspecting the damage done to the ar uh, arabesques, I think? Maybe. No. What they really should do is shut down the disco men for disturbing neighborhood peace. Yes, the but they could really help with the speakers. You mean the speed freak? She closes her eyes as more dance music invades the holy silence of the sanctuary. Of course, the Speed Freaks. They have a fantastic sound system. And you think they would help me? They would, if you wouldn't mind them moving in with you. I guess I could live through a week or two of peaceful coexistence. Great! I'll go talk to them then. Yeah! Sure. Let me know how it goes. Thanks, officer. Right, I'll leave you in peace now. <laughs> it's not gonna last long. Yes, Egghead will be so happy. I've got it, Egg. I've got it. I've got something that's more hardcore than hardcore. I wonder because we used the the Welkin thing before. For that dude, for that red check, I wonder if we could have used this if we finished this quest. Oh. Uh, Maybe Anodonic Dance Music as a suggestion. I like the club. Huh. I wonder if that would have been a, a bigger bonus or something. Hi again. So, uh, how things going? Mm. Um, yes. maybe. Is it that one? Yeah, here we go. Uh, um,. I was using the main frame. I three. Wait, uh, okay, you had two highlighted. I two highlighted because I, I thought it was new, but then I realized it wasn't. Uh, okay, okay. Um, good news. I managed to convince Suna. She's okay with you guys moving in, but on one condition: she needs your speakers for her project. That is a lie. That should be a. <laughs> that should be. That should not be an S on the end of that because there is only one speaker. It is a mono system. <laughs> Right. We are grateful, Cotman. You're an augury of a new era of anodic dance music. The speed freak smiles, happier than he's ever been before. 
Uh, you're going to have to share space with her for a couple of weeks until she gets her research finished. That's fine. We can manage. He grins excited. And you're still sure about keeping our little side business, right? <laughs> oh. oh, you mean the illegal drug lab? There will be no shady shenanigans in the church. Only love, endotic dance music, and maybe some snacks. Fine, we can make do. It's going to take us a bit to move our stuff inside. A couple of hours, maybe. Come check back later. Let's get moving. Alright, well... Cool. I guess we can go run around looking for Ruby now while we wait for them to get their shit together. Yeah. Uh, unless it just skips us ahead. No, it didn't skip us ahead. Yeah, maybe wow, it did. It... Their, their tent is gone and everything. Maybe we can check it out quick. Maybe it's already done. Well, if he said a couple of hours. Yeah, but I didn't see what time it was when we talked to him, so I don't know if time skipped forward. I think it may have skipped ahead a few minutes at most. Well, then they're a lot faster than they thought they'd be. Maybe? They're very, they are are a lot faster than they thought they'd be. Holy shit, <laughs> you're efficient! Yes, what is it? Uh, how's the project going? I see that your neighbors have moved in, but all I hear is the Donic dance music. <laughs> what did you say? I said, how is the project going? I can't hear you. The music is too loud. The project. How is it going? Oh, the project. It's not going well. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you just ask him? He doesn't listen to me! He only ever seems to care about hard work <laughs> and Yekokata! A place to be, apparently! <laughs> I'll, I'll speak to him and see what I can do! Thanks! Maybe you can get through his magic rhymes! She does jazz hands to mock him. Egg, buddy, come on! The Lion Church, the place to be! Let's the noise, my church people! <laughs> the large beakers are set up behind the young man, blasting a familiar song. The vibrations thump through your blue soul. The music sounds much better in the church. A hawthorn tree on Rue de Sanchez Lane, tangled in its branches, something bronze flutters in the wind. Okay, that's just straight up re uh, referencing the shit we already got, I think. He stands on stage what behind the table, nodding along. I think it was the tape we picked up before and gave the egg. Ah, uh, okay, okay. In front of him, the audio mixer. One reel spinning. The other reel deck is empty. Cables run hither and thither. On one side, you see an auxiliary line in with the number 4.5 written next to it. Hey! Egg, uh, can you please route soon as signal through your speakers? To the mega, yeah! I can route it through auxiliary. What kind of a cable does she use? 3.5 or 4.5? It's the 3.5, no doubt about it. It's on the ground. Oh, she uses 3.5. Yeah. The auxiliary lining is 4.5 millimeter. These two don't mix. Oh no, we're going to be in this church. <laughs> Kim! <laughs> you tell me you don't like it here, Kim? Don't worry, I have an adapter for it right here. He searches for the, he searches for the cable on the ground and picks it up, looking at the jack. Hang on, this is a 4.5. We're all good, people! <laughs> With a grin, he sticks oh! the plug into the auxiliary line, and then here's a satisfying click. Whoa, thank God. 
adapters noticeably degrade the sound quality. Great! Someone got through to him! Okay, let's get it all set up. <laughs> Can we turn the music off, please? Egg? The music? Everybody! Everybody! Don't panic! I'm going to turn off the on off for just a sec for a special scheduled event. <laughs> He is, he is super into this, and I love it. <laughs> the Arno will be back, but we're doing something else for one moment. All right, go tell her that Egghead is ready to rave to her tunes, and then I'll turn off the music. Uh, how do you like it in the church? Wait, 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 hey! um, oh. Too late. Back on the case. Okay. Place. Bring it down to party play. I was go I was expecting him to say it's super mega hardcore. <laughs> the first page of the second chapter. He, you know, he's not done. He could still do it. <laughs> okay. Could it be? Maybe for him. You only have a chapter or two left in you. Last of the penultimate, more like. Ooh. Ooh. Like, we're winding down our story to the yeah. end. What is it? It's the story of our life. Um, alright, I talked to Egghead. He plugged in the cable. Now, can you unmute your speakers? Okay, but think you can ask him to turn the volume down a bit? Just in case. Maximum! <laughs> <laughs> Shouts Egghead, a great smile still adorning his face, larger than a red dwarf star. Turn it down just this instance, just this one time. Maximum is not the only way, okay? Pump it to the brick! Hard <laughs> master! There's no other way! Glue style! <laughs> Who voices egghead? There literally is no other way. The mixing desk is glued to He literally has it glued! Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Voice is egghead because I love that voice. <laughs> <sighs> but do you really though? Yes! <laughs> egghead is like the maybe my favorite character in this. <laughs> what, not Kim? He's standing right there, man. Okay, okay, egghead, <laughs> Kim, Kuno. My top three. He pumps it to the hard master. It's hopeless. I think what Egghead is trying to say that the volume button is uh, stuck on maximum. Of course it is. <laughs> she shrugs, consigned to her fate. Yeah! Permanent enlightenment! Ray of sound! <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Let's get on with our protein. I'm going to unmute the speakers on a count of five. Everyone ready? She looks around the church. Egghead pumps his hand up in the air, waiting for the beat to drop. Born ready. Says Andre. Ready. Yells Noid. I'm ready if you two are detectives. The lieutenant nods stoically. Suddenly, your palms are sweaty. The church seems cold and large. Knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on your sweater already. Mm. Because you're drunk. You may be suffering from Hinamazawa syndrome. <laughs> There's tightness in your chest. Anxiety. Okay. Ready. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Mute disengaged. She lifts her hands from the keyboard. Complete silence fills the room. No wind outside. No waves. No floorboards creaking. Total, continuous silence. This is unnatural. The woman looks around. In the silence, you see dust move on the floorboards. The driver of the speaker vibrates in the air and then stops. Plasterwork begins to crumble down the walls. In the silence, a low hum starts creeping up your spine. It's a song inside you. 
Not in the speakers. Not in the room. A great inside ah. in the basement of your mind. Slowly it builds until the air around you starts to vibrate. It's out there now. In the world. Made manifest. It will devour everything. What the fuck? The floorboards. The glass. The streets and the people. Nothing will remain. Guys, what's going on? There's alarm in the young man's voice as he steps back to scan the surroundings. A light, a slight rattle like crystal clattering in a cardboard in a, in a cupboard fills the air, joining the chorus. It's getting louder, says Noid, his eyes riveted on the strange circle of water basins. What? In the basins, the water looks like it's boiling. <laughs> Your egghead yell, then something else, but his voice is growing faint. In his mind, a tidal wave approaching from afar, swallowing entire coastlines on its way. Salvation. He's peaking. The worst high he's ever been on. Oh! Uh, hey! What's that weird rattling sound? The beauty and the beat! The future of dance! Planetary! No, Egg! It's the window! The glass shards around Dolores Day's vacant heart appear to be vibrating with the sound. It almost looks like she's alive. In the corner of your eye, the lieutenant steps aside, cautiously, his eyes searching for a possible evacuation route. The window is going to come down! No, the roof! She looks up. A screech fills the air. A scream of wood and nails. The pillars of the church twist and creak above and around you. Oh. Cracks appear on the stained glass window. Cracks run up the wooden pillars in the dark. Come down to us! Love! Damn it, Hank! This is a bad time! <laughs> oh no! Below it, all the base grows. Like the jaws of a giant compressor gnawing on metal and wood. It does not sound benevolent at all. A great pulse arises in your flesh. That's it. I'm muting it. She reaches for the keyboard. Uh, uh, oh! I want to dance with somebody! Sorry, tapping your foot. Oh! I want to feel the heat with somebody! Shit! It doesn't stop. The woman, seal? Have you? the woman is furiously pressing down on the keyboard, but the, but the sound doesn't stop. She yells, holding the contact mic in her hand. Andre, pull the compressor! The place is gonna come down! Fuck! I can't shut it up! The signal's passed! It's not in here! It's... This is it. A great roar. The bolt of the roof twists above you. Glass shatters somewhere near the door. It's coming down. Uh, Egghead? Can you stop it? Don't stop it, Egghead! This is the ultra mega hardcore. <laughs> uh, we may die though, but can you stop it? And then it stops, totally and utterly, as if there never was a sound. Only your ears still ring from the shock. Everybody is staring at Egghead, holding a dangling cable in his hand. A black three pin connector. Egg. I pulled the plug. It was getting too hardcore. What? what? Not possible. You did good, Egg. Most of the place seems to be intact. Fucking hell. Programmer lady, tell me you were recording that. Four years. Twenty two people. Millions of reals. All that time. This is what we were up against. Just erased it. Suriswolf isn't gonna believe this. Yeah, but did you record it though? It was dope. I think we can use it. Yes, Andre. I recorded it. Damn, I, I need to send some letters now. Thank you all for doing this. Eggman, you too. And you, officer. I don't know what we've discovered, but I know what it sounds like now. That's a start. Kim, did you hear that? 
It was very hard not to. I think you're right. There is something going on here. And you need to be very careful with it. What? No, Kim. This is the paranormal, all right? Crazy shit is happening. You can't deny the insanity that is in the world now. Yes? If this is real, cryptids are real, Kim. Just admit it. I promise, officer. We will not play it again. What was that? I've never heard anything like it. It was mathematical information from the anomaly presented as a waveform. That's what it was technically. Theoretically... She shakes her head. I have no idea. I've never even heard of anything like this. A voice seems muffled in the silent church. It's your ears adjusting after the exposure. You're going to write Sulisla? Yes, our lead designer. And maybe some of the producers too. And some of the writers. If they're sober enough to open a transmission. They need to hear. That it wasn't her fault. Or theirs. They need to hear about this. Don't worry, I won't send the recording. Although I doubt they have the speakers to produce the frequency anyway. Shouldn't that have been you going to write to Sula's Law? No, no, that still works. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I I guess like I'm just used to hearing like write to somebody rather than write somebody. Mm -hmm. Okay, um what happens now? Are you going to conclude? Stay here. I'm going to stay here with these lunatics. Send letters, <laughs> maybe meet Sulisborg. Also devise further measurements. I want you to know that's totally chill with us. I don't care, but thank you anyway. That's the best she can manage for Andre. It's quite a lot in truth. For her, at least. Now, I can sense some real that's blooming! Yeah, all right. Some kind of preliminary explanation to all this. Or the letter will sound like I've lost my mind. I mean, you know, Asel might want to get in there, because, I mean, isn't she Andre's boy a girlfriend, technically? M maybe. Even though he kind of treats her like shit? Mm. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure now. Yes, and we have to get back to stabilizing Martinez. Instead of demolishing it with loud bass noise of unknown origins. Damn it, Cam, just admit the cryptids are real. Some tiny hard thing lets go in your stomach. You're still alive. You have an explanation for all this. Somewhere deep in you. Oh. You know, the person you were knows. What is the... Oh, man. We... We got we got a lot of logic shit. We can, yeah. we can see what it does. Let's see here. And it's a white check. It is, in fact, a white check. There's so... glasses. it all right we got a plus five in logic what's it gonna give us yes. what is it 58 percent oh. we do have points points yes what is it 72, 72. son of a bitch <laughs> All right, we got one last point. Do we want to put it in now and see where we we don't have much until we get the next one, actually? Uh, sure. Let's get let's let's use logic. Let's logic it up. Yes. What is it? Eighty-three. Yes. Let's go. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? That's some bullshit. That is complete bullshit. All right, let's see here. Where, where, what else we got here? 
Uh, I don't have to care about that stuff at this point anymore. Put the armor back on. Um, and then I wanted to put on my encyclopedia glasses and my encyclopedia hat. All right. I am going to have to partially call this episode the failure of logic. <laughs> Harder car. Whoa! That was a crazy sound we heard before. Yeah, it was awesome and scary. Very hard car. It's always booms through the chamber, then gets silent. Too hard car, in fact. I couldn't control it at all. What happened? It sucks up all the air in the mix until it's the only thing left. Starts compressing itself and everything around it. Completely fills up the headspace. Extreme! Inside your chest, the heart beats still with the after effects of the sound. Imagine if you could harness that power, making it pulse. What if this is the answer to Ice Jam? We could use the sound for the bass! Ah! Ah! But how? Ooh. What do we have around here? to achieve some sort of oh, parallel fucker. processing. Oh. oh. We don't have anything for interfacing aside from the gloves. Son of a bitch. I don't think we have anything else. I think it's literally this and another pair of gloves and one is one plus one and one is plus two. Damn it. Damn it. This is disappointing. This is upsetting. Well, maybe we could, before we hit the end game, come back and help him. Well, I mean, we might get more points to put into it. Yeah, so, um... It's, it is a white check, so we could just roll and see what happens. Uh, do we have any interfacing clothing on that you put on? Just the gloves that we already had on. I thought you said there was something for plus two. That's what we have on. Oh, uh, and that's giving us only eight? Yep. Sixes! Come on, sixes! <laughs> No. We need a 16. We got really close, actually. You can't grasp what's missing. Yeah. But you could try to make something up anyway. Off by four. Uh, where one cannot speak, one ought to remain silent. The young man bobs his head to the music. Sad. All right. Andre, what you got? Yeah, it's all set up, man. Can you already imagine a thousand people in here? Ten thousand. It sends in an unbelievably lame, non-hardcore manner. Ecstatic vibrations, totally transcendent. And I've finished setting up the new compressor, too. He looks at the imposing black box in the corner that's churning out the sound. Now, the only thing left to do is the name of the club. Will you do the honors, detective? Ooh. Egghead, you must have a lot of ideas. <laughs> Yakukata! Yakukata! The place to be! There you go. Yakukata, the zone of ecological catastrophe. That's too morbid, eh? Got anything else? <laughs> Hard car! <laughs> <laughs> of course! No, it has to be bigger than hardcore. Yes! It has to be even bigger than Harcourt to the Mega. It has uh, to be bigger than the scene. Kim, do you have any ideas for the club? I wouldn't. I wouldn't build a club, and I wouldn't name it either. An underground place with no name? Sounds like something the Crab Man would say. We're not going with anything the Crab Man would say. <laughs> Aw, it's hell. Why not? The Crab Man has ideas, herself. 
ideas from another level of consciousness. Sounds like Noid's into the crab man. Uh. I don't care. I don't like the crab man, and I don't like his ideas. His ideas are spooky. Next, uh. please. Tuna, do you have an opinion on this? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> we have too many opinions anyway. <laughs> uh, Cell, what do you suggest the name? How about something simple, like the club? Too modern and too ironic. We don't want ironic. We want real, real and true and beautiful. Like a morning after the rain. Uh, what do you propose as the name, Andre? The name. Everything I managed to come up with sounds just wrong. Andre's overthinking it. Says the girl with the microphone. Yes, you should do it, detective. It would be good for the signs. Lloyd's Ooh. right. You've helped us so much. It's the right thing to do. Uh, Lloyd, give me your two cents on this issue. The amnesia. Oh. Like the, I can't remember the name of the club amnesia. Amnesia! It's not amnesia, guys. Uh, I think I've come up with a name. <laughs> <laughs> These should be good. You have? Well, what's the name? Hey! Disco Elysium! Like that DeLorean word for the world, you mean. Elysium. But Disco Elysium? Isn't it wacky? Disco's kind of gone, isn't it? Forgotten. The past is the future, but the future is dead. What? No, it's beautiful. Beautiful and brave. Like we want it to be. And short. And memorable. It's settled then. Hey, Everyone there's our point. Welcome to Disco <laughs> Elysium. Yay. Do we want to put it right into logic? <laughs> <laughs> and try that roll again? Uh, can we do... Oh, I'm not even <laughs> sure! But can we do it on the next episode of Disco Elysium? Sure.